Permanent alimony goes away replaced by a formula based on the years married and a spouse's income under the legislation on its way to the governor. Opponents piled on trying to raise doubts. The language is ambiguous. He retroactively tampered with as far as the alimony provision is concerned. Democrats tried to add a provision that would make sure the bill was not retroactive, but Republicans blocked it. The legislation does allow the payer of alimony to seek a change if the receiver's income increases by 10% or more. That'll hit women harder since they're the recipient 97% of the time. And there is an increase in the payer's income. Things will not change. But increases in the recipient's income is a grounds for, re for reduction. This is one-sided and unfair. Also controversial is the premise that kids should spend an equal amount of time with each parent. The legislation is personal to Representative Rich Workman. He started pushing the reform effort four years ago after he divorced. There is no perfect language when dealing with child custody. There isn't. Trust me, I've had enough of a fight about this for the last couple of years. The legislation moves to a very uncertain future with Governor Rick Scott. He vetoed a bill in 2013 that specifically said it was retroactive, but there are enough questions about this bill to at least cause Scott some concerns. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.